Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. On my way to the RV show at the Equestrian Center here in Jacksonville, Florida. Look at this Amazon building. Look at the size of Amazon. Wow. A big distribution center. Maybe I could get a job in there. The Equestrian Center. We're here. We are here as a police. Sheriff, you got him a, there's another police right over there. All right, we're about ready to walk in over here and pay and look at all the cars out here, uh, people showing up on the last day of the uh, Jacksonville RV show. I'm glad I came. These are gonna be fun. I'm gonna probably go to the one in West Palm when I go back down to the doctor next week uh, because it's just fun to look at them. And I'm just thinking about something. You know, if you come to an RV show and you're a single guy and you're looking to meet maybe a gal that likes to RV, ta-da! <laughs> Let's go inside. All right, everybody, we're inside the RV show here. I paid my admission and upon walking in, I got a little uh, brochure here and the nice young lady over here said, would you like a bag? I got a little bag. And then I understand I can spin a wheel here for a prize. So let's, uh, let's give her a spin. Uh-oh, looks like we got us a winner. <laughs> Ready to spin? All right, folks, here we go. Come on, thousand. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. There you go. I'm a winner already. Oh, this is cool. I need a little something to put my uh, keys on. I separated some keys this morning, actually, uh, for the tongue lock and the camper and uh, all these different things that I have. So this is really handy. So that's good. Let's see what else we can collect for this bag. Let me turn you around and show you guys what we got going on as we get ready to enter where the RVs are. All right, I got you guys all backed out. And uh, when you come in the door, the, uh, the first thing you see is these vendors that are uh, set up here offering different things. It's like going to the, uh, the boat show or any of these other types of uh, uh, shows and spectacles. There are always um, subsidiaries and different uh, things that are you know, involved with the RVs. Let's get on through here. Yeah, golf carts, grills, all the things. Oh, look at these little puppies. Got a video of that for everybody. Look at these little guys. Hi there, little buddy. Uh, they're probably about, I've got two adults. And probably about once or twice a week, they'll burn through the house as fast as they can go, make about three or four trips, and then they settle down. Those are cute. Let me get away from there before I buy one or adopt one. All right, so we're going around. We got mag wheels. We got uh, all kind of stuff here. Renew Wall by Anderson. That's the, uh, oh, look, we have some e-bikes and stuff. All types of things. Now, how do you get, oh, the RV exhib exhibits. They've got us, they kind of funnel you around and force us to walk past these little vendors here. Oh, I've seen these before. Check it out. Your time to experience them. I've, I've done it. I've done it a couple of times, actually. Is the Facebook Live going crazy right now? Huh? It's no, it's on YouTube, though. Check out Sarasota Tim. Well, look at that. They're trying to haul you in. Here's some hitches for you. All kinds of ball sizes, drop hitches. Hey, people buy the paint before they buy the house, you know? Let's get on out here. Well, I mentioned there's only a couple of big RV dealers that are here, but upon walking out, the very first one I see is Campers Inn. Get on over to um, find some Flagstaffs and some towables, and we won't worry too much about the million dollar stuff. Uh, those are all wonderful, and those used to be my, my favorite to look at. But let's take a look at Class Cs, let's take a look at towables, and um, maybe even the Class Bs, which are the big sellers these days. Let's see what we got. 
All right, I just want to tell you what I'm going to get ready to do. I'm going to go back and video this little trailer over here, but it's going to be muted because he is blasting the copyright music right on top of the uh, camper. But I want to show you what this little tiny camper cost uh, that I considered buying myself. It's a really high quality camper, but when I get ready to walk out there, I'm going to have to mute this part of the video because of the copyright. And this one right here is drawing my eye right now. I believe these could be, um, they look like an Airstream, but maybe they're not. And um, that's the new camp. Those, these are high dollar action right here. That's the tab. This is what I wanted to buy. But take a look at this. This is an interesting looking design. It with a big front windshield. It's got the slide out cooler thing over here. I see a big refrigerator in there. I think there's some people in there but I would like to go in and take a look when they come out. In the meantime, there's one right over here. Let's see what kind of numbers we got. This one's smaller. And these, these fiberglass uh, models like this, here's a whole wet bath shower in here. Now just think, my unit was $40,000. I have a whole house and it's under 30 feet. It's 26 feet, 25 feet, 11 inches from stem to stern on the outside. And you guys have seen mine. You got the fantastic fan. We got AC. This is $50,000. You've got to sit down here when you get wet for your shower. It's a wet bath. But these are high quality. These are there's a lot to them. I'm not trying to say that it's not worth them. I'm just saying you can just see these are there's a lot of craftsmanship that goes in. Look at that big windshield in the front. And it probably doesn't weigh much either. Let's let's take a look at this bigger one though that I wanted to go in right here. This Terra Rover. This is also a a sole. It's much smaller. Let's see what this one's like. Intech Rover. Let's see if there's anybody in there. Coming in, you see this big booth here. That's tremendous. Lots of glass area, huge windshield. Lots of glass over here. A nice stainless, big, large sink. Two burner stove with an oven. Uh, some more counter space here. You do have the wet bath. There's actually two different kinds of styles uh, through this narrow pass. It goes back to two beds, a stainless fridge, AC. And I don't see that it's ducked anywhere. It's just, I think it might just only blow. I could be wrong. But anyway, there's the, uh, huh, you got a, you come in here, you got a, a window. Oh, I see. This is a separate toilet uh, closet, water closet, and a separate shower. Now that's pretty cool. So where the other one we just walked out of is all in one. They build two of these little capsules. And look at this carpeting. It's uh, interesting. So the flooring like I have, and you have two twin beds. It does not look like they're able to be put together. And here's your little closet. Let's go see what the numbers are. The smaller one was 50 large. Uh, I think it's taped on the outside out here. Almost 80. Well, 70, they got a deal on it. 70, and it's a 2024. You can look them up, 44 gallons, all this stuff. Interesting. It's got the uh, off-road dual axle tires. This little deal here. I'm only gonna give you guys a view today. I'm gonna try and be selective on what I show you. It's got two back windows. Different shape on the back. Looks kind of like old school trailer. You know, like remember the Lucy 
movie they made. Look at the size of this fifth wheel. It's a big toy hauler. It has a big patio on the back, the door that drops down. But what I really want to show you that I was all about buying when I got interested in RVs again was these new camps, this thing right here. Well, here's a bigger one right over here. It's called a Tab 400. This is the one I really wanted. This is, uh, you can tow this with about anything and they're very popular. They have a very strong resale value, high quality made, moving around here. It's much bigger in person than it looks. I mean, it's got big solar up there. Uh, there's another new camp right over there with a rack on the back. Let's take a look. So I've seen on YouTube people that live in these. Let me sit down here and show you. You got this big window that pops out. Now this is plastic. I have a glass windshield in my RV. Storage above. Fantastic fan. They make use of every inch of room, including storage here. This is always a good sign when they use this kind of hardware. And there's your bed. And then they have the wet um, toilet. And I, I saw a YouTube video a long time ago. This lady had one. I think she pulled it with a small Tacoma or a little Subaru or whatever. And I was just so envious. I wanted one of these so, so bad. They were 40000 at the time. And, you know, like I said, the advantage here is you don't need a big truck. You can kind of pull them with anything. There's a little sink. A Dometic uh, stove. Let's see what the numbers are on it now from uh, two years ago. Two to three years ago. 51. They're at 40 now at the show. Still at that same number. Get this aircraft style door here. You get all this uh, storage in the front uh, to make you, you know, able to carry a lot of things. Um, they got that one locked up. Let's open it up. You get your 20 gallon propane tank. Oh, a little shock absorber. Pulling that up. That's pretty neat. Lock it back up. Yeah, these are they're all lightweight aluminum. Uh, it doesn't weigh much at all. Then here's the small one. This is the Tab 320. That's the 400, the Tab 400. This is the 320. This one's even smaller. You got a 41 MSRP today, uh, 31. Okay. Now, here you go. That's it. <laughs> Folks, you have to understand, these small units like this, this is for a different type of person and type of use. First of all, it's all about being able to tow it with anything. Second of all, it's extremely high quality and good resale value. I mean, look at this thing in the back. It's amazing looking. Got the solar on there uh, and it's got these off-road tires, everything. So you just have to do your research to appreciate uh, what they're about the new camp, you know, the, the materials they use, everything. Got all that big storage in the front there. It's been a long time since I looked at one of these, but you remember back in the day when everybody had these on the back of their truck? Now here's a big Dually um, F, what do they got here? It's a one ton Ford, no doubt a diesel, I'm sure. Although I don't see diesel written on the side. Could be gasoline. But look at the size of this camper. Let's, let's see what those look like inside nowadays from the old dime. You can just drop it down and remove it and drive away. And you've got your vehicle. Let's just take a look. Well, that's a long way up in there, isn't it? Let's get up in there. Wow, a lot of steps to get in. Now, this is kind of reminding me already of the Class B, where you have this very, very narrow uh, pass. But folks, this is something you can drive anywhere you want to go, and wherever you go is home. You get a nice big bed up there. That's one thing about this one. You have a very comfortable booth with a huge window that can pop out, storage, and there is a roof air conditioning on it. And then, of course, you've got a bathroom in here. 
I'm walking right out now. Yeah, it's got a, uh, oh, a full-on shower in this thing. So where it looks like it doesn't have much room, like walking in and the pass, it actually has a lot of real estate, even more than that tab over there. And look at this big, uh, oh, it's, it's made by New Camp, made by the same company. And uh, has, is that an electric? This is an electric uh, stove top. It's got the good hardware. Got the good hardware. Oh man, this is a high quality uh, topper for your truck. Wonder how many people are gonna fall out of that thing today. <laughs> There's another big toy hauler uh, where they have these big patios and open this up. It's a garage, you can put motorcycles, uh, quads, different things like that. That was something that I was interested in when I lived in uh, California, I went to the desert. Definitely something. Here's a high quality looking deal. Brinkley. Let me make my way back over to the towables and look for Flagstaff. These were definitely worth uh, looking at. Yes, that is a new camp um, topper for a truck. And you saw right there the quality that they put in those compared to uh, what a little camper like that was worth or how they built them years ago. Here's another one. 37.5 today, and you've got, for a smaller truck, the booth is right here. We don't have a bathroom. We have probably a little cassette toilet. Yes, right there, I knew it. Sit down there and do your business. A little small fridge. And put this on your truck. And forget about it. Also made by New Camp. A little awning on the side. They get very creative with these little things. And here's another little small new camp. It's got two doors on it with an air conditioning inside. And I'm familiar with this floor plan. I've seen these before. Uh, this is 23,000 today on sale. And it's got lots of uh, you know, nice tires and wheels. We've got all the same aluminum front storage area here. Uh, your propane tank. And you can pull it obviously with anything and you get in there and it's a, basically an air conditioned uh, hard sided tent, but you do have a fantastic fan. The window here that opens up, high quality, got the full size spare and everything. And then your kitchen is out here. You've got an electric refrigerator by Camco, a microwave, a propane stove and a sink. So you carry some water and you can do everything that everybody else can do, but on a very small scale, and you're looking at um, $23,000 to do it. Oh my goodness, there's one of those Airstreams. That is an Airstream, right? I think it is. Look at this little thing right here. It's the same, it's the same deal as this little tag. The tags are really neat. And this one right here is gonna run us only $14,000. It's basically just, uh, it doesn't have air conditioning. That's what it is, it does not have air conditioning. It's just a, um, a little trailer with good looking sides on it. Uh, you got a little kitchenette thing in the back here. There's those Class B's, pre-owned. We'll take a look at the prices of those. Yes, Airstream. Here you go, are you ready? Hang on to your hat. Let's see what we get here. Oh, this one must be sold already. See, they don't want anybody just messing around. 44,000, it's got some really nice windows. Let's take a look in there. Airstream is, uh, is an amazing uh, manufacturer. Look at all those windows around there. So if you're uh, you know, looking to get into one of these small things, boondocking, off-road type, um, you know, this is, these are things that you don't just pull into an RV park. This is something you're wanting to get out in the middle of uh, nowhere. And you have a G for a four-wheel drive because you've got these kinds of tires. Even this Airstream is equipped with such. 
This is to get you off grid. So that's what these are about. This is not about luxury, say like this, or the towables like I have, where you have to stay you know, on pavement and make sure you have um, all the hookups. 129, 130, 130. And what you're getting is a vehicle and a camper. And this is on a chassis, uh, Integria, whatever that is. This is a Ford chassis and it's 130. They make them on Dodge chassis. Here's one with a Dodge. They make them on Mercedes chassis. And we'll take a look inside this Dodge Ram here. It's a Road Trek, which is a very popular uh, Class B. They've been making a while. This one is pre-owned, they're trying to sell it. And we got the prices right up front for everybody today. And you can get it today for 116. Got a little step that comes out, holds you pretty well. Now what it is about these Class Bs, it's a van, it's an Amazon van. You drive it, you can go to a grocery store with it, you can go to Publix, Winn-Dixie, uh, and you can park it anywhere. You get 20 miles per gallon. And inside you have a generator, you have electricity, you have air conditioning. It's got the fantastic fan, you have an air conditioning unit. And then you can make, you know, your bed here. And this one, I don't see where it is, maybe in here. Is this where it is? Of course. There it is, your wet shower, your wet toilet, your wet bath, whatever they call it. So you're fully self-contained, and, and that's what you get. And it's your, it's your daily driver as well. And this is what van life, a few years ago when this kind of thing took off, these manufacturers said, hey, people are buying vans, they're building them out, they're putting in their own solar and sinks and water and uh, stoves and stuff like that. Why don't we just build them from the factory, make them factory quality, give them a warranty and everything, finance them, put the awnings on there, the whole shooting match, and sell them. And they were selling like hotcakes. In fact, they're getting a lot of money, as you can see. A lot of money. 130000 It's not even a Mercedes. Airstream makes them too. So here's the sales office. You can sit down and make you a deal. Let's get on back over and uh, find those flagstaffs. I know they're somewhere way over there in the towables. Let's get over to, to towables now. I'm going to pause this, and we'll be right back. All right, as we get into the towables, you've got uh, 25, 26,000, uh, 26, 25,000 here. These are the aluminum sided ones here. They don't have the metal, the, uh, the fiberglass uh, like this one here. It's a little different. 26,000. And to me, uh, when I look at these with the, uh, the metal sides, and even these here uh, with this side. I'll just give you an idea. Let me just walk in this one right here. You got the front bed, which I decided that uh, when I got mine, it was, uh, you know, a little similar to this uh, floor plan here. And thank you for the service again. And we've got a dining room here. You've got your uh, theater seating with a smaller uh, little armrest. Another... Uh, sofa there here's the big tv and now this one has a similar floor plan to one i saw in georgia with a lot of windows in the back and the rear is the living area and the front is uh you get up here and you've got that narrowness between here and the bed that they all seem to have and look this is the bedroom there's no uh closets just on the sides of the bed there and this is not a slide out. Uh, this is the slide out here. It is out uh, right here. It's got one slide. And uh, this is a um, this is a, called a passport by Keystone. And you're looking at close to forty thousand, uh, the show price. And what I would say is this is basically all my life when I go to RV shows of what I see. It's like, hey, that's nice, but it doesn't like blow my skirt up. You know, this is nothing uh, extraordinary. That Flagstaff is so unique. I hope to find them 
and we'll show you guys. I might have to jump fences here or something because I'm in the uh, general. It's called general. Yeah, I don't know if I can get through over here without going around, but we're gonna we're gonna walk all the way back out of here and around and out uh, to get to where I need to be. Uh, but these these units here, you can just see like the shine and the metal, the fiberglass here. It just doesn't seem to be like, in my mind, there's really no comparison. What mine costs that? Let's take a look. This is a lot longer. This is a lot longer. This is what it looks like inside. Huge island kitchen. Big old pit group here. Uh, fireplace. Oh, that window's open. That's cool. Like a sliding door, actually. But it's not. So it's just a big window, yeah. And another big window that opens up. This is what it looks like inside. The ceiling is feeling like it's low on my head. Furion refrigerator. The bathroom is, oh my gosh. I hate to compare everything. Uh, why is that crunched up like that? It's got a little bit of room in the front and there is a Oh, washer and dryer uh, area, but it, you can just tell, folks. You can just tell this is this is. Uh, I mean, look at this. All right, let's go on down the road here. Pardon me, pardon me. Excuse me. No, it's going to be this guy, the Outback, right here. Twenty-seven footer. So let me let me move on back over to. Uh, find those flagstaffs. I really do need to find those. Ford chassis, and these have gone up. I know somebody on YouTube that bought one of these two years ago. Uh, so it was a two year old model, 60 grand they paid. And you can buy this one today for 105, 24 feet, a J ride. And uh, oh, nice, it's pretty nice. Oh man, I got some, some width in here, some width. Oh, you got all this big sleeping area. This thing looks huge in here. It's a huge sleeping area. They had this cutaway to get down here and drive. And you can walk forward without hitting your head. And then you can put this, of course, back uh, to sleep. Huge bed up there. This, of course, makes a bed. And then you have this uh, bed right here. And then this is a whole slide. This whole all the way down. This is a super slide that goes out quite a bit. It's a full slide, like four foot. And then you have all this uh, real estate here, this counter space. And is it a three or a four burner uh, cooktop? I think it's three. And they're employing, uh, uh, I don't know what brand, but uh, the Furion again. And at least this floor plan here, which I've seen many of these class C's and the biggest thing I don't like, this is the part here that I think goes over that to make that a bed, is there was no way to make the bed, but look, now you can walk around and make the bed. And there's a big closet there, tons of room right here, but you're not in a separate bedroom. It's all one open thing with just a little privacy curtain like that. Uh, so, and then if you're trying to get dressed, you'll have just that little narrow area there. And the bathroom has a Looks like a little shallow tub, but it's not a tub. And there's your bathroom, big medicine cabinet, a little window, and not a porcelain toilet. So a hundred grand, you can buy two, almost three of my Flagstaff camper that can be pulled with a half ton truck for what this right here uh, is running today. Oh, Rockwood, this is, this is Flagstaff. Rockwood, it's the same exact, I mean, unit. It's uh, built on the same floor. Let's go in a Rockwood. Oh, you're gonna be impressed now, folks. And look what you got. Why is this marked out? They're trying to say, we'll do even better. All right. So, 70 large, and it is a 24 model. 
It's a 30, oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Let's go in. This should be impressive. Front bedroom with a pass-through bathroom. I'll try to go slow for you guys. I hope I haven't been doing a bad job on my videoing. Got the little lights like I have in mind. Remember, Rockwood and Flagstaff are the same company, made in the same place. So you're going to see the Coleman Mach AC. It's going to have two of them. This is a 50 amp unit because it's going to have multiple air conditioning systems. <clears throat> You've got this, um, this is a different looking, it's a, it's, a, it's a vinyl feeling, it's not cloth. And the booth and the island kitchen. It's got the big fireplace and the big TV right there. And remember that bathroom went into the bedroom so it's a, a pass through. Porcelain toilet. I've got a bigger medicine cabinet. Oh, this is a bunkhouse. <laughs> Look at this back bedroom here. Look, you can make that a, a bunk or it's a sofa. This one folds down. And then look. Oh, they even put a TV in. You see the creative thinking that they employ with uh, Rockwood, Flagstaff, and Forest River. This is Forest River. They, they know how to do it. Look at this flooring. Look how beautiful the colors. I can tell you right now, I can feel this door. While it's lightweight, you know, for towing, it's, it's not as chintzy as that other door I pulled on. Magic Chef, three burner, same oven I have, stove, and uh, handsome faucets and things with the, huh, you pull, whoop, I didn't mean to do that, but, all right, let's go see if we can find some more Forest River or Rockwood, uh, Oh, look, there's a Rockwood uh, pop-up. These Geo Pros are also made by uh, Forest River, Rockwood. Here's a Rockwood, beautiful long one here. Too long for me. Let's find one a little shorter. If we can get under 30 feet, that's the sweet spot. This looks like one right here with the dual doors like I have. This could be the same unit. This could be the same one. Let's take a look. These are nice. All right, you got, uh, they're just saying, hey, we're going to do even more for you. So this is about 7,000 more than I gave for mine. This is 26 feet. I only have 25. So this one's bigger. Got the queen bed in the back like I have. There it is. Same exact thing. The, the bathroom is different. Here's the same closet I have. That's a 27 foot? No, 32 feet. Got to find them under 30. There's another long one. Sale price 50. Again, folks, that's why they're still sitting here. You've got to be under 30 feet to get a, a good camp spot. Otherwise, you've got to have a pull through spot. Let's take a look at this bunkhouse here. There you go. This is in my price range. And we have a 24 model, 25 foot. Let's go in and take a look. It's got the front. Uh, oh, this is a Murphy bed. I've seen these up at uh, Camp Oaks. That's the exact same color and sofa color I have. You have a booth in this one. I know this unit well. I have this little extension here you can lift up on the counter. It's a very handsome unit. There's a lot of people that like this. If you got a little family, you got the bunk beds back here, full on so uh, refrigerator, a tub, a little window here looking out. So we don't have a lot of flagstaffs I'm finding it, but we've got rockwood, which is the same thing. And um, it's very nice. I mean, it's a great little family, small family camper uh, with the Murphy bed. So let's keep on looking. 
And this one here looks, uh, looks very similar to what I have. Oh my gosh, this could be it. Is this it for 46,000? It is a, again, oh, it's a 26 FKBS front king bedroom slide. But it's 26 feet. I have a 25 FKBS. But, oh, because it has that booth. I remember this is my unit. Uh, well, no, my refrigerator is over here. Not my unit. But look, look at this huge living room. Mine is more closed off. So this, if you like a larger looking, you know, living area, you do have the booth and the theater seating and the bigger TV. There's that big pantry over there. You have a lot of real estate here in the kitchen, a front kitchen with the window to view out. And like I said, the refrigerator on mine is here. And this one has the booth and the refrigerator there. And it has that walk-through bathroom. I suppose it has two doors. It does. A pass-through. And then in here, you have that same beautiful closet that I have. And this, oh my gosh, let me tell you folks. This is, no. I just hit my shoulders trying to go through there. This is, that's my TV. The bed is not slid out. That's what it is. This bed slides out. And that would make this look really nice. They're not doing themselves a favor by not having this out. This is uh, completely in because you have a tremendous amount of room right here with this bed slide out. But what I don't like is this bathroom. Mine is just a pass-through door. This one, what they're doing is... Uh, even though you have two doors, so you don't have to interfere with anybody in the bathroom, they made this door, but look. Let me show you. I, I have to turn. I have to turn sideways to get through there. I don't like that. It is what it is. So, I mean, anytime you actually pass through here, you're going to have to do a little sideways, sideways step there. Sideways step. Boy, did I get the right unit when I bought mine. Is this it? No, it's a single door. Man. Oh, I've already been that way, right? I've already been this way. We're working our way back here. Getting turned around. And we're about ready to wrap it up. I'd like to go inside this one, the $65,000 large one that is uh, 23 feet. And it's a rear king uh, something, bed. It's got this uh, outside kitchen. Flagstaff classic. Oh, here we go. Here's some flagstaffs. Here's one right here. Wow. That's a 23. Um, it looks longer than mine. It does look longer. You get the Goodyear endurance tires on here, folks. The nice mag wheels. Look, they got a price on here. And it's a 24, 26 FKBS. It's the one that has the dinette and the theater seating with the dual slide. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's got this table and chairs uh, design. So there you go. You've got the, uh, my sink is in the front here. Uh, the cabinets, it seem like, are much higher. I, I can, my window seems like it's higher up for a view on the uh, 25 FKBS, where this one is just kind of, I got to go like this to look out. And that's over to the side. Mine is right here. The fridge is right there. I don't need these table and chairs. Uh, that's nice. It's got the same exact one with the uh, wireless charging and the bigger uh, door for the armrest. Mm-hmm. And... What do you got here? You got the pass through. Well, this has got a lot of shoulder room. There's no issue whatsoever. None to go through that one. That I can tell you. And the slide is out on the bed. So look, it's the exact bedroom I have. The exact bedroom. The two windows, the cabinets, the spotlights. I got that little thing with the USB. The same 
I wonder if that TV's any bigger. It's probably the same. Same closet. Yep. This is the amazing part right here. The big drawers. Uh, the drawers down here. Oh, yeah. This is as close to a runner-up as you're ever going to find to what I have. Because what's different? Instead of the bathroom being just one door you pass through, so if someone's in there, you would have to use the door, which you can still do on this one as well. But here you can be private. There is a uh, barn door uh, that slides closed. But if you want to go this way and not have to go outside the camper to go to the front of the camper and let someone stay private, there is no problem with shoulder room walking through there. And then, of course, you have the fireplace, the TV, the fridge, and this extra place to eat. It's kind of nice. Oh, it's got this furnace floor vents. It's different from mine. And the same reversible doors on the refrigerator. You've got, now this is a, did, did, wasn't this a, uh, a 23? And I have a 24 at this light right there. Let's turn around and look. It's a big living area compared to my you know, sort of uh, crunched in a little bit. And could I learn to live with this one? Uh, it's got the duct AC, the single. It's a 30 amp trailer. It's got a single air conditioner, 15,000 BTU. Could I, could I live with this? Is this enough real estate in the kitchen? Of course it is. Is there enough pantry and, and shelving? I do have some more right here, some deep ones that this is taking up. So the pantry or a dining table. And I've got those little airplane tables that swivel around. And then in the bathroom, you know, I have that dual extra, extra large uh, sink. It's wider than this one. And this dual uh, two-door, two-mirror uh, medicine cabinet. But I don't have these. Oh, but I do have that huge uh, big pantry behind me with the deep linen closet. And this is behind the door. It's way tucked away. The bathroom in mine is much, much bigger. So you get the fantastic fan in the same location. Uh, let's take a look. Considering mine, I know you're going to say I'm biased. For five thousand cheaper, uh, same year. It's a twenty-four. Five thousand cheaper, and everything else is the same. And this is the Flagstaff. It's not the Rockwood. I wonder if they give you the grill that comes with it. It's got the. Uh, is that, the, is that the color of mine or mine's white in the front? Got the frameless window. Got the big awning with the light. I know you're going to say I'm, I'm biased, but there's no way I would trade my bathroom for that bathroom. And how, how long was this one? It's the extra foot. It's the extra foot. It's the 26. So I wonder what the total overall length is. And... Uh, dry weight is a little heavier. Yeah, there it is. It reached it. And mine is 2511. 2511. I'm telling you folks, I got the A number one towable RV there is made in America today. <laughs> you believe that? I got some uh, oceanfront property in Arizona for you. Oh look, here's some, uh, here's some flagstaffs here. Let's walk down this hall. Look how many people are looking at the mini lights and the flagstaffs. Look how many people are checking these out. It's a 24, um, did I go down this aisle already? Yeah, I did. This is the one I came out where the Geo Pros are. And these are very popular. Um, in comparison to those tabs we were looking at, those tabs, those little teardrops, this is the way you should go. Let me show you what we got in here. Okay, instead of that little teardrop, look how much more comfortable you are. See this domed ceiling, this nice uh, Coleman mock air conditioning, 
huge TV, nice uh, fridge, a very nice bathroom with the Max Air fan. Oh, it's a Murphy bed that this folds down and then the bed will fold down. So they're making the most of the space. The colors are amazing. I love this color. I love the floor coloring. I love the glass black TV. Storage is huge. Oh yeah, lots of windows above storage. And this is a slide out. This is a slide out right here. Let's see what the numbers are on this. If you're gonna go those, those tabs, the tab 400 and the tab 320, in the beginning of the video we were looking at, um, they were what, 40 grand? Look at this. Um, 10 grand cheaper. And it's got the uh, off-road tires on it. These are electric uh, stabilizers. And let's see what the price is on these geos. Uh, here's one that's um, 25. It's a little smaller. Here's another one over here that is um, 30. It's a little bigger. Let's take a look inside that. And I want to look at that one right there. That's a big Geo Pro right there. This has got the front queen. It's a bunkhouse. So if you have the little family, you get the bunk beds there. Here's a booth. And then your, um, your kitchen with the blinds. It's got blinds instead of pull-down shades. This is very nice. This is really nice. Magic Chef. And then back here is the uh, a bathtub with the sky roof and the fantastic fan. Uh, the medicine cabinet doesn't open, but it's a mirror, and you have right there for all your stuff. So when you look when you're looking at those tabs, folks, when you're looking at the new camps, the tab 400, the tab 320. Think about a Geo Pro. Because look what you're getting here. This is the weight. Pull it with anything. This is your length. Uh, and this is, they'll even do better, they're saying. So let's take a look at this bigger one right here. It's probably the longest one I've seen. It's got the outdoor grill on it. Uh, I got a little notification there that my eye drops are ready. Here's 30. 31 and they want to do better for you. It's 21 feet and this is a 4,000 pound trailer. It's got the nice size. You got the LED light with the awning. It has a slide. Oh, this has got that huge kitchen like mine. Look at this real estate here. And these little pop-up things here for, oh yeah, this is like mine. I like this. And my refrigerator is right there. It's exactly like it. Stove's here. This is really nice. It's got a little fold out bed there, I'm sure. And there's your rear bed. And if you want to uh, use the restroom and take your shower, you got a nice little roomy area in here with a medicine cabinet and a fantastic fan. So again, folks, the Geo Pro has got to be a head to head competitor to those small things like Airstreams and New Camps and all of those, I would seriously uh, say, you know, these are uh, worth looking at. Absolutely. And what is this one here? This is one of the longest ones we've seen in the Geo Pro. They make them in every size imaginable. It's a 31, they want to do better. That's good. Are the Geo Pros also a Forest River product? Yes. I knew it. Yeah, great product. So, whether it's a, uh, a Rockwood, a Forest River, um, Flagstaff, or the Geo Pro uh, by Rockwood, uh, you've, got, uh, you've got some good quality towables. So I would, I would just actually not even consider any other kind of towable at all. If it doesn't say Rockwood or Flagstaff, you know, if it's not a Forest River, uh, their company has really, I mean, look at these fifth wheels. Before we end the video, I'll, I'll show you. Look, Rockwood pop-ups. Look at this pop-up. Now, I personally have moved past these kinds of things 
It takes forever to have them set up. There's a lot of stuff that can rot and cut and all that kind of stuff. Hey, what's going on? Do you even know what you're talking about? Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> so, um, how many did you sell? Every one of them. Look at this. This is great. So, um, can I get in here? Let's take a look. This is a pop-up, a pop-up, folks. Look at the size of the bed you get on these things. Look at all the screen. You certainly got plenty of room in here. Coming around slowly. This pops out. Coming on around. Huge king back there. Stove, sink. I know there's a, a cassette toilet in here. There it is. There's more seating here. Uh, looking around again. There's so much airflow. What do they get for a pop-up? Look at all the visibility. Look how roomy it feels in here. Air conditioning? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, if you take care of it, you know, uh, they got a warranty. I worry about the soft stuff, but, you know, they come a long way in over the time since, you know, the beginning pop-ups. Beginning pop-ups didn't even have an air conditioner. Well, let's see what the, what the numbers are. I know they had a price somewhere on these. Well, anyway, let's go inside this fifth wheel here that I promised you that's only 65. This isn't bad now. Uh, this is a lot of weight, you know, it's 37 feet. It's over 10,000 pounds. You're gonna need a one ton truck. And it's a big boy. It's a big boy. Huge ceiling, ceiling fans. I mean, that's like, you can't even reach that ceiling up there. Seats galore. I'm taking steps, steps, steps. I'm not to the end of it yet. Giant TV, giant fireplace, very high quality sound bar, microwave and stove. Here's your small island kitchen, beautiful stainless with a slide out freezer drawer. And here's your kitchen with some handsome cabinets. And a fantastic fan. Must be a switch somewhere to turn that on because you're not going to reach it. Then you go upstairs like all fifth wheels and you have your bathroom here. Porcelain toilet, another fantastic fan, some interesting lighting fixtures, and a medicine cabinet sink. And as we come back to the bedroom, it is a, is that a queen or a full? It's, it's a nice size bed, plenty for two. It's a slide out. And all of your, now the ceiling is coming down on my head. The ceiling is coming low. And as I walk over here, the ceiling is, Definitely feeling uh, low to me in here. This is a, uh, unfortunately, it's not as comfortable feeling as my beautiful bedroom. I'm not feeling it. It's just a place to lay down at night, though, and recharge your battery. You have some drawers. And let's take a look. I know there's a washer and dryer you can probably put in these. Uh, there's some stools there. Uh, the closet is going to be no way to hang your... You gotta take that out for the clothes to hang down. Hmm. There's always something in there, folks. There's always something. Oh, I like this, but I wish it had that. Well, there you go, folks. And you can buy this one today uh, to give you an idea of what a, um, how big is it? 37 feet. It's all the length in the world. 65 grand isn't too much. I mean, when they're wanting $140,000 for a, a van, an Amazon van that you gotta walk sideways in to get to the back of it, and it has to have a little cassette toilet that you gotta go take out and empty. I mean, it's just all your perspective. All right, guys, we're gonna end it right there. This is my friend right here. How's it Remember going? him from Camper's Inn? Yeah, buddy. Air Force guy. Air Force guy, that's right, that's his them? website. Do you, want, do, you want, do you want to show them the best in show? Best in show? I see it. Yeah, come on over here. All right. It's Let's the, go. First, the first three-story, five-level destination camper. 
Well, this is the way to crush it at the end. I'm telling you what. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, it's been voted the best in show. Now, I've been, take, I've been doing all the tallying, okay? So just to be fair and be honest about it. I will. But uh, this is it. I, I was looking at this thing. Isn't that huge? What? Okay, folks. All right, begin. Okay, so this, Tell me what it is. This is the, the retreat. facts. <laughs> this is the retreat. It is a destination camper. So somebody's going to put it on a piece of property and leave it there. Oh, okay. okay. Or you might move it. If you want to move it maybe once or twice a year, these are not meant to be towing around all over the place. All right. Because of the big front windows. I got you. And the sliding glass door. Is this a new kind of thing? This is the, well, no, they've been around for a long time. But this is the first for this as far as this floor plan. The difference with this one, this has loft, lofts, oh, this has lofts in them. The difference with it is that both doors are at the same height, whereas a lot of these other ones, one door would be lower. So with this one, if you're going to put it in one, one location, you can have the deck the whole length of this, and you don't have to have it stepping down. All right. Um, what is there any highlight features on the outside? Huge Not, awning, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. I mean, this is mainly, you know, you're going to go ahead and put this in one place. You're not going to have a lot of, you're not going to have really any outside storage other than under the bed from the other side. But all the features are the inside. Well, let's get at it. Let's take Come a on look. in here. Let me show you what we're talking about. Nice LED lighting up here on the outside. For some reason, I think we saw this. Notice that's a spiral staircase. So you see you have two lofts on either end. Okay. Check out the kitchen. Massive residential size oven with four bedroom, I mean four burner stove. Residential size microwave. Big refrigerator. You also have a nice little pantry over here, and it's lit up. You know how many pantries, and they don't have that light running all the way down? Yeah. But so now you can see on all the shelves. All right, cool. So up here, I'm going to give you back the mic, so as you walk around, you can take them up, show them. We have a loft on this side, which has a double bed, and then the loft on this side is three single beds up here, 800-pound capacity. And, of course, you have a bathroom. you get up on this one. You, you get down your knee. You're tight. There, yeah, there's only 32 inches height from the floor to the ceiling up there on either side. But these do have the soundproof curtains as well. All right, let's take a little walk around here. Thanks very much. For hey, thank you, Tim. You have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Look at, look at this uh, little pit group that they give you here before we go upstairs. That's a very, it's a, also a bed and very comfortable. Bar stools there at the island kitchen. Now remember, folks, this is like residential. People are coming in this thing. Look at the light fixtures above. High ceiling, ceiling fan. And, of course, it's a 50-amp unit. We've got dual air conditioners. Three ACs. And also, these are electric. You can work individually. Oh, yes. Lots of visibility. The TV goes down inside. That's pretty cool. Let's just take a look at this. Are you, are you looking at all of them and then you'll figure out which one you want? Well, this is for YouTube. Now let's go in here and uh, take a little quick peek at the bathroom. Oh, this is a walk-in on. Now here we go, folks. Who's ever been in an RV ever, ever in your life that had a bathroom you could walk in and walk around? All oh, these mirrors. Look at these water uh, bowls here they have with the, with the drain. This, look at this. Look at this, folks. This is something. What is that? This right here is your washer and dryer. Oh, it's a big old, well, you could, I don't know, you probably could, there's a washer and dryer hookup, there's hot and water and cold water, uh, right there, right here, and here's all your big plugs, and look at this, this is a bathroom, folks, I've seen it, I'll never see it again, unless you come into one of these units, this is crazy, I didn't even expect that when I looked in that door, now we're going up the first loft here, and again, remember, you have to, you know, kind of get in here and I'll, I'll just sit down here on the stairs and show you. So this is a, a little pad uh, that you crawl on. This wouldn't be the master, would it? No, this is not, it's a double. It's a double uh, for the kids or guests. And then you have these curtains you can pull for privacy. Uh, you've got the AC duct there with all the way around. Another unit there. Like you said, there's three units. So you're going to definitely be cool in here. 
Looking around, look at this thing. Look at this. All right. And this has just got such a cool look. So you buy yourself a little piece of property and you come down. I failed, I failed to look at this, this tag on it. Is there a tag outside? There is. What's the retail on it? Retail, uh, the sale price. Sale price. 75000 No. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind. It's not something you tour around all the time. Right, but also I would accept offers above that. <laughs> you told me that last time. You hear that, folks? All offers above that will be accepted. Take a look. Let's go up here to the next loft. We'll let the gentleman go up there. But 75? Now, yes, it's not a. It's not something that you're... Oh, I haven't even been over there yet. They just came out with this, so it's not virtual. I haven't even been over there yet. This is best in show. Let's... Uh, you see where that door opened up? Show that door right there. That little door? That's where you... Operate all the awnings and everything slide. Oh, out. that's a control and panel. That's a control panel. All right, let's take a look at this control panel in here. Oh yeah, lots of controls. Okay. And then what I'm noticing is I just bumped into it. Is uh, there's a door? How you doing? There's a door here, and you come in. Look, it's a step down like the bathroom. You step down, and that's a slide. It looks like about a two two foot slide. It's not a full slide, but it's so roomy already. The unit is so wide. Look at these giant windows, folks. Let me come around here. There's the world out there. Look at this tinted window. Where's my TV? Where is my TV at in here? Does it pop up out of here? Is there not one in here? There's a hookup for it. Okay, that's extra. <laughs> Now there is a closet. Let's go over there and take a look at that. Folks, this is so big. This is a home. This is a home. But don't expect to travel with it. Don't go to, you know, um, Yellowstone with it. This is meant to buy yourself some property. Put it on there. Fully equipped. Fully warrantied. And a turnkey home. Big giant closet. Huge full length mirror. Is this a king? Of course it's a king. Why would they put a queen in here? And look at these. Are these electric or are these uh, slow risers? Well, I'm not getting it to move. I don't want to mess with it. Big uh, ceiling, even in here, it's above me. But look, I'm stepped down. It's a step down. Now let's go to the famous loft. We've been saving the best for last. Now you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Not for the faint at heart. Wow, this is really kind of a sure enough deal here. But it's fun at the same time. Look at all the room. Look how, what the heck? Goes way back there. And Tim, you can put a TV up there to the right. Oh, yeah. Let's get on up in here. I won't get cheap on you. Let me crawl in here. Oh, you got to have good knees, I can tell you that. Oh, look, well, they got a little, it's all a pad. There's no mattress. There's a little uh, storage thing here. And I'm, look, look at how many people can sleep up here. And the air conditioner's right here. The LED lighting, yeah, there, there's a TV hookup. There's a little cable thing right there. You got to put one in and in the bedroom. So to get out of here is going to take a little, a little work. I'm, I'm scooching out. And I'm coming out. Oh. Folks. Tim, can you see yourself up there for a night? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Fun I'm sure after night. once or twice. <laughs> Watch your drinking, sir. <laughs> Man, this is uh it's solid though. It feels it feels solid. It's a spiral staircase. And you know, this is really high quality. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Best in show, you say. That's it. I gotta agree. There's four, four chairs. Yep, two on each side. Okay. Oh, you could you could host. You could host. We could sit down and make a deal right here. Man, this is this is really cool. So much. Sleep. How many people do claim to sleep? You sleep anywhere between seven to ten people. Man. 
see the fireplace also underneath the TV? Yep, yep. JD a little crystal TV. lights probably yep. put off a little glitter. You put off different colors. You can see how the people are coming in and out of it. The kids love it. The kids love these lofts. They would just absolutely have a ball here. So let's go out and walk around the outside one more time and show you what we're talking about. It has these, uh, these kinds of tires. They are a, a load star carrier HDs, heavy duty, large looking tire and axle. Very tall. Can you imagine when the awning out on this thing? I forgot to ask him what the total length is. Let's find out. What's that? The total length. 20 foot, 20 feet. No, I mean the, uh, the unit. Oh, 40 feet. 40 footer. We're going to take offers above that. <laughs> and uh, discount, normally 100. They took a nice price off already. I mean, you can do your own calculating, your own figuring, but for everything that you're seeing here today, when they want $130,000, $40,000 for one of those Amazon vans, yes, it drives, yes, it's got the engine, yes, it's a whole different thing. But there is a, an RV for you folks. There is one here, there is one made that fits anyone's needs. So I would suggest, considering this kind of living, traveling, vacationing, enjoying your life when you can. If you can make one affordable in any price range, you can buy them pre-owned, you can get them new. There's all kinds of styles, sizes, and it's ready to go. So come on out here and rush it.